you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's class, we will be discussing about the laws of thermodynamics. There are basically four laws of thermodynamics, the first law, the second law, the third law, and the zeroth law. The first, second, and third law defines the physical factors that characterize a thermodynamic system that is at a thermodynamic equilibrium. Having known that, the first law of thermodynamics is simply the law of conservation of energy. We simply state that the total energy of an isolated system is constant or is conserved. That is, energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can only be transformed or converted from one form to another. So mathematically, it simply means that the net heat that is passed into a system must be equal to the work done by the system. So heat is symbolized Q and work is symbolized W. So it means that Q must be equal to, to W, which consequently affects the internal energy of the system Meaning that the change in the internal energy of that system must be equal to Q plus W. Q and W are in exact function, so we use, we can actually use um, the partial derivative for Q and also for W because they do not have initial and final values. The second law deals with entropy, just like I said, I said the first, second law and the third law describes or defines the physical factors that characterize a thermodynamic system. And these factors or quantities include energy, which we have described in the first law. The second is entropy. And the third is temperature. So second law deals with entropy. And this law simply states that the entropy of an isolated system tends to increase. In other words, for any chemical or physical change to occur, the entropy of the system must increase. So entropy is symbolized as S. Mathematically, it is equal to the heat all over temperature. So the change of entropy is equal to partial derivative of Q over T. I can combine the first and the second law mathematically to get a new equation. From the, my first law, where internal energy equals to Q plus W, I can call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So if I cross multiply, I will have that T delta X is equal to partial derivative of Q. Meaning that I can actually replace the Q with T that are X. And also, we can also recall that from physics, work done is equal to force and distance. And also, you can agree with me that pressure P is equal to force over area. So if I cross multiply, I will have that pressure times area is equal to force. So if I replace F with PA in the formula for work done, I will have that W is equal to PA times S. And of course, dimensionally, the unit for area is meter square, and the unit for distance is meters. So meaning that area times distance is equal to volume. Therefore, my work done is equal to pressure times volume. Meaning that the change in work done will be equal to pressure change 
a V. Of course, I use this symbol delta for V because volume is a partial um, is an exact function compared to as opposed to work done and heat, which we use this sign for. So I can have if you want, I can I will now have a combined 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 first and second law replacing the value of w i'll have therefore that internal energy is also equal to t delta x minus p delta v so this is also another equation for internal energy t delta x minus p delta v okay having understood first and second law the third law talks about another physical quantity which is called temperature and the third law simply states that the entropy of a perfect crystal of any pure substance approaches zero as the temperature approaches absolute zero absolute zero is also known as zero kelvin Absolute zero temperature is the lowest temperature that is theoretically possible. And of course, we know that it is difficult or very difficult for any system to attain absolute zero temperature. So in other words, I can also define the third law saying that absolute zero temperature is unreachable or is impossible. Simply means that the entropy of a crystal of a crystal equal to zero if the temperature becomes zero Kelvin. That is absolute temperature. Fourth law. The fourth law is called the zero law. Thermodynamics. And this law simply states that if two thermodynamic systems are in thermal equilibrium. with a system or with another system with another system comma therefore the three systems are all in thermal equilibrium. Very simple. It simply means that if a system A is in thermal equilibrium with a system B and a system B is in thermal equilibrium with a system C, therefore the whole three bodies are in thermal equilibrium. Meaning if A is in equilibrium with B and B is in thermal equilibrium with another body C. It simply means that the three bodies are all in thermal equilibrium. So these are the four basic laws of thermodynamics. I believe this video is quite helpful to you. If you have any question, be free to put down your comment on the comment section. And then I'll make more videos on this topic. Thank you very much. Hello guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click on the red notification button to get more of my videos. Thank you.